Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little get ready with me for an event where I wanted to challenge myself not to do my typical warm smoky eye. While there are still some warm shades in the crease, I went for blue on the lid and lash line to make my eyes pop for something a little bit more unique. So let's just get straight into the video. So this is my first time filming a makeup video since coming back from overseas. So as you can see, I am super excited to be filming today. First things first, let's quickly prime the lids with my Maybelline Master Precise Concealer and then I'm just going to set it down with some Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. So this is the palette that I took with me overseas, so for this look I wanted to challenge myself and try and use some colours that I left at home. So basically the shadows that I don't use as often. I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do for this video, so I went in with a cool tone taupey colour first but ended up doing a warm crease so you don't really need to do this step in order to achieve the look. A warm crease isn't really using the palette I didn't take with me, but I wanted to use some blue and make it a bit more wearable so that's why I decided to do warm tones in the crease. For the warm crease, I started with this shade from my Juvia's palette and took that all up in the crease as the transition shade. I then had to think about what I was going to do for about 5 minutes and eventually decided to take the orange from the Huda Beauty palette to do a super warm crease to contrast the blues that I wanted to use on the lid. Using a medium sized pencil brush I applied that in the outer corner and halfway through the crease then with a fluffier brush blended it seamlessly into our first shade. I'm then taking this dark bluey grey from Makeup Geek and I'll have all the names down below and I'm popping that all over the lid space that we left free. I decided the blue needed to be a little bit more bright, so I took the bright blue from my Juvia's Place palette and popped that over the top. I then took a bit more of that orangey brown from the Huda palette on a small pencil brush and lightly blended out the edges of the blue. You have to be really careful when blending out colours like blue because it can get really muddy and gross really easily. So definitely use a very small brush and a light hand when doing this. I did the same thing again with the dark brown to deepen up the outer corner a little bit more. Using the light warm brown we used as our transition, I'm going over and blending out the crease even further. I then went in with the dark blue on a flat shader in the outer part of the blue area just to help the brighter blue blend in with the browns. I again added a bit more of the dark brown in the outer corner and blended everything out with a fluffy brush. I then took some black eyeshadow on my angled brush and did a smoky liner look as that is my favourite way to define my lash line for my eye shape. You could totally do a winged liner or any kind of liner look that works for you for this look. I just packed on some black shadow close to my outer lash line and winked it out very slightly. Then I took my small pencil brush that we used for the dark brown to smoke it out a little bit further. I decided the orange shades needed to be a little bit more prominent so I took some of the orange from the Huda palette on a fluffy brush and this time lightly buffed it into my crease. I quickly cleaned up the fallout and sharpened up the outer corner and now we can move on to the skin. For my foundation, I took the Fenty foundation mixed with some Bourjois Healthy Mix and my Cover FX drops in sunlight and buffed that into the skin. This is my absolute favourite combo for events as it makes my skin look so smooth and flawless in photos. I made sure to blend my foundation down my neck as well to even out any patchy fake tan. For concealer, I took my Maybelline Master Precise again and applied that to all the areas I usually highlight which are under the eyes, chin, cupid's bow, nose and forehead. Once that is all blended in, I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder and setting that down with a liberal amount. I don't like to do a full baking process on myself, but I do apply a little bit of an excess amount, which I then brush away with my pressed face powder. Speaking of pressed face powder, I'm taking my Astralis Fresh and Flawless and brushing that lightly all over my face. For bronzer, I'm taking my MAC Give Me Sun and dusting that all over my cheekbone areas, forehead, under my jawline and a little bit on my nose and chin and then contouring with the two lighter shades from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and applying that to my cheekbones, under my lip, the sides of my nose and temples. It does look super intense on my cheekbones on camera for some reason, but in real life I promise it was not that crazy. For blush, I'm taking my fave Makeup Geek blush in Spellbound and applying that on the apples of my cheek and then bringing that up my cheekbones to lift the face and make my face look a little bit more angular. 
I'm then taking my Inglot Loose Highlighting Powder, which is super intense, and applying that with a very light hand to my cheekbones, down the top of my nose bridge, on the tip of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. I like to apply this product in the area that I want it first, and then when there's not much left on the brush, I blend it out. I'm also applying this product to my inner corner and brow bone as well. I'm quickly taking the foundation off my lips and applying my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Plumper, which I just got so I wanted to test out. It does tingle a bit, but I wouldn't say that it plumps my lips a huge amount, but it does have a really nice shine to it. I'm quickly filling in my brows using the ABH Brow Powder in Soft Brown. I'm not the best at brows, but if you would like to see a brow tutorial, let me know in the comments below. I'm also setting them in place using the Essence Brow Gel. For mascara, I'm using this Essence Mascara that I wouldn't actually recommend because the wand is way too big, and then I'm going to pop on some lashes. The key to lashes is waiting for the glue to pretty much completely dry, then pop them on in the middle of your lashes while you are looking down into a mirror. Once that middle part is secure, stick down the inner and outer corners. For the lower lash line, I'm taking our warm brown transition shade and smoking that pretty low down, and then taking the orange hue to shadow on top. For liner, I'm using this blue pencil from Rimmel and just applying that to my waterline to help make the blues pop. I wouldn't recommend doing it with one hand, as you can see me attempt here. Definitely use separate hands for pulling down the eye and applying the liner. I'm also taking the bright blue from the Juvia's palette and popping that on the very inner part of the lower lash line, just before the inner corner, to further intensify that blue pop. I'm also taking some of the dark brown on a tiny pencil brush, just right below the waterline, as I don't like to wear mascara on my lower lashes, but I still want that area to match the upper lashes in terms of darkness intensity. Finally, I'm just tapping off the excess gloss and applying a nude lip liner and peachy lip gloss. And then I'm just going to set everything down with some Fix Plus and that is the finished look. I love how it turned out even though I had no idea what I was doing or whether what I had in my mind would work out on the eyes. I never do blue but I think it looks really nice with my blue eyes and not too crazy with the warm crease. Thank you so much as always for watching, I hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and you want to see some more from me and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys! Mwah.